Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another exciting day of STEM enrichment. Up until this point, we have been really building up our background science knowledge so that when we get to the end of our unit, we can have the most successful projects possible. So thus far, we have been discussing the importance of forces and the different types of forces that we encounter on an everyday basis. We talked about the difference between simple and compound machines and we saw the six groups of compound machines that we're going to be exploring with. And then we talked about magnets and magnetism. What we did recently was we created our blueprints for a compound machine that could lift our tiger out of that moat. If we were learning um, in school under normal conditions, what we would have done is we would have built those machines out of robotics pieces and actually physically tested them out. So taken a figurine tiger and seen if we could lift that tiger up and move it to a new place using those robots that we've built. Since we no longer have that as an option for us, what we're going to do is we're gonna take that testing portion digital. So today, we are going to be introduced to a programming system where we can actually begin playing around with coding specific robotics um, machines and seeing how these programs respond to codes that we generate. So I'm going to show you how to access this program and how to use it. And our activity for today is going to be to complete a couple of levels in this coding game. Once we've done that, tomorrow we'll be introduced to another coding program and we will begin actually coding what we would like our blueprints to do if we had a real situation where that tiger needed to be rescued. The activity that we're going to complete today requires the use of an application on your iPad called Lightbot. It looks like the icon that I have in the top left screen of my iPad with the two robots. If you do not have this application already downloaded to your iPad, you can click on self-service and in self-service, under that search bar, you would type in the word Lightbot and just click Install. Once you have Lightbot installed on your iPad, click on the application. You'll see this main screen. If you tap the big green button in the center of your screen, you'll get brought to your main menu. Your main menu has different areas where you can explore. We're going to stay in basics just to get a feel for how Lightbot works. If you click on basics and click level one, you'll be brought to a screen that looks like this. Your robot will come up and give you instructions on how to proceed. This robot needs your help to light the blue tiles. The walk command tells the robot to move forward. It's the up arrow. The light command tells the robot to light up a tile. The tiles that you want to light up are the blue ones. When you click on one of these commands, so for example, if I click on the up arrow, that command now goes to my server. This has a ghost writer kind of telling me what to click for level one. So I'm going to click that up command twice and then the light command and then click the play run button. My robot successfully got from where he started to where he needs to go. So I'm now going to click the move forward button and I'm brought to level two. Now our robot is showing us some new commands. The left command, so the arrow pointing to your left, tells you to turn to the left, the opposite direction that a clock's arrows would turn. The 
right command tells you to turn to the right. So clockwise, the direction that the arrows on a clock would travel. So now my ghost helper is no longer there. So I have to pick which commands to use. I might think I want to walk forward command. Once I complete level two, my third level will be unlocked. When I complete level three, my fourth level will be unlocked. Once I finish basics, let's head to procedures. Level one in procedures has lots of steps for me to complete. Now, we have a lot of commands that we need to include in our program. More than can be added in that main section that we just saw. So what we're going to do is we are going to condense or make a code for multiple commands. Those are going to be put in the PROC1 folder, which you'll see in a moment. The P1 command tells you to run the commands in the PROC1 folder. When you program P1 into the main board, the robot will run all of the commands that you have in that PROC1 folder. So take a look. If I want to put many commands under one code, what I can do is drag those commands into my PROC1 folder. And then if I have these four commands in this PROC1 folder, if I click on my your assignment in Lightbot, what you're going to do is submit a screenshot of your unlocked levels in your Seesaw app. So on the basics screen, you should have levels one through five unlocked because when you complete level four, level five is unlocked. And then in the procedure section, at least levels one through three should be unlocked because when we complete level two, level three is unlocked. If you would like to continue completing these levels and unlocking the levels that come after them, go for it. But what you're submitting is the screenshot of levels one through five unlocked in basic and one through three unlocked in procedures. <laughs> 